What's going on YouTube? Today I'm going to show you how to save all of your Final Cut profiles to an external hard drive instead of saving it on your local disk hard drive. And I'm also going to show you how to transfer all your Final Cut profiles from your local disk to the external hard drive. First you're going to start by, by opening up Final Cut Pro. Next you're going to go to File, go to New, and click New Library. Right before I show you that, I want to start by showing you that these four squares with the stars in the middle, these all represent different libraries. And currently all of these are saved onto my Mac, onto its uh, local hard drive. Uh, except for this one, because this is the one I just set up, which I'm about to show you how to do. All right, so you're gonna go to File, New, New Library. You're gonna name it, whatever you wanna name it. I name mine's uh, Final Cut Pro X. And then you're going to click the destination where you want to save it at. This is my external hard drive, so you just click this. I'm going to name this 2 because I already saved one. So, for demonstration purposes, save. Now I just created a new library, Final Cut Pro 2, as you can see. Now, everything that saves on here. If you click on this tab right here, you'll see everything the location is going to, the media, so on and so forth. So as you can see, it's going to my book for Mac, and that is my external hard drive. In the rest of these files that I have, you can see that it says it's going to my Macintosh HD, which is my local hard disk drive. Now, once you have your new library set up, you can start to transfer your files from your local hard disk to your external hard drive. And by doing that, as you open it up, and this star right here represents everything that's saved on your external hard drive. So all these files that I have here, whatever files that I want to transfer over, I can just transfer, you just click onto the file and you drag it right here. Click OK. And that's it. I'm done and just to double check you click on the library and I can see the projects right here project file from that point on you can proceed to then just delete that file by moving the event to trash and freeing up space on your hard drive and that's all I have for today if you found this video helpful like comment and subscribe and be sure to check out my next videos thank you no, I'm not a writer okay <laughs> Oh, uh -huh.